So guys, I just wanted to show you this little uh, dipstick that's magnetic that I got from my little portable generator. Uh, this thing has a magnet right on the end of it. So these little smaller generators don't have filters in them. And when you have metal like uh, from the uh, sleeving running around in the oil, it causes the engine to wear a little bit faster, you know, because that metal is actually getting in there and scrubbing the uh, cylinder a little bit and causing it to get wider and wider as the engine runs. So anyways, I'm going to try this thing out. I got it on Amazon. It was actually fairly cheap. I'll put a link for it down below. Um, it's supposed to be compatible with a whole slew of generators. Um, let's see how it works. So I removed the access panel to the oil dipstick and I'm just going to pull the oil dipstick out. Well, it's not really a dipstick, um, it's just a plug. And as you can see, the thread looks roughly the same. Let's see how it fits in there. I like this thing has an O-ring on it also, which the um, plug also has. Well, it fits right in there. So I'm going to go ahead and put some gasoline in this little generator and let it run for about an hour. And then we'll take the little magnetic dipstick out and see how it looks. So I'll see you guys in about an hour. Alright, so before I take this out, um, this engine has about maybe three hours on this oil change. And that was the first oil change on this engine. So the engine actually has about 24 hours of runtime on it. Um, another thing, this thing's all aluminum. It's not plastic like the one that was on it before. So it does conduct a lot of heat from the engine. So let your engine cool all the way down before taking this out so you don't burn your fingers. Let's take it out and see what we got. Just a very small amount of black on the end of it. So I'm going to go take the oil off of this and we'll look at it under a microscope and see how it uh, looks. There's a little black around the end of the ring here too. So it does look like it's capturing some metal. Um, let me switch the camera to macro mode real quick and uh, we can look at that. So there we are in super macro mode. You can see the black all around the end of the magnet. And then on the edges around the top of the, where the end of the magnet is. So the magnet's only like a couple millimeters long. Um, let's go try and take a look at this under a microscope and see what it looks like. So this is viewing through my microscope lens. Um, kind of hard to see it, but you can clearly see that there are um, little steel particles on the tip of the magnet. I'm going to wipe it off with a piece of tissue and then we can look at it there. So the lighting in here is kind of a warm white, so that's why everything kind of looks red. But anyways, this is the tissue that I wiped the metal off of the end of the dipstick with. And we'll look at it under the microscope and see what we can see in it. So here it is looking through the microscope. And I'm going to move the tissue around and hopefully you can see in the tissue. I can't tell from the little viewfinder on the um, camera here, but there are some pretty good sized chunks in there. Anyways, um, I think this thing works pretty good since there's no oil filter in the uh, engine itself. This will suffice for helping out uh, making the engine last longer. So anyways, uh, thanks for watching this video. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. I have more videos coming, and I will catch you guys on the next video.